Okay, mean and variance for a Poisson distribution is really um, lovely and simple and straightforward. So x follows a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, so you know that that lambda, we already know it's the mean, that's how we've defined the Poisson distribution. So the mean, which is sometimes written as mu or e of x, is going to be equal to lambda. The variance is um, sigma squared or written as variance of x. Now that also has the lovely property that it is equal to lambda, nice and simple. Now it's a little too simple for um, straightforward examples, so we'll add in a little bit more um, complexity in the examples and see if we can get you thinking. So example number one. The number of absences per day x at East Pond High School follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 1.5. So they get on average 1.5 absences per day. We're going to calculate the standard deviation of x. So sigma, that's the standard deviation, that's always the square root of the variance. Now since the variance is 1.5, we need to do the square root of 1.5. So the standard deviation is 1.22. Next question. On how many days this week would you expect the number of absences to be within one standard deviation of the mean? So that's 1.22 above the mean and 1.22 below the mean. So we need to do that 1.5 take away 1.22 would be 0.28 and 1.5 add on the 1.22 will be 2.72. Now a Poisson distribution can only take um, whole numbers so we're looking for the whole numbers between 0.28 and 2.72 so we get that's going to happen if x is equal to 1 or x equals to 2. Pop it into your formula to work it out and we get the answer of 0.586. So that is the probability that on one day the absences lie within one standard deviation of the mean. Now we're looking for how many days this week we could expect that to happen. So we will do that times by five days of the week. So we get 2.93 days where we expect the absences to lie within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, example number two, we're looking at the number of calls received by an emergency services operator. Uh, he receives 4.5 calls every 10 minutes on average, so we want to find the probability that 25 calls are received in one hour. So, x follows a Poisson distribution with 4.5 as the average if we're looking at 10 minutes. Now, we want to redefine a uh, new distribution for what it would be for an hour, so we'll call that y, and that's going to be 27 in an hour. We just do 4.5. 5 times by 6 to make it um, large enough for an hour. So that would be 27. And then we want the probability that y equals 25, so we put it into our formula and we get 0 0.0737. Okay, the probability that no calls are received in t minutes is 0 0.75 and we want to calculate what t has to be to make that happen. So again, we have a uh, another variation on this distribution, so we'll call it z. We're not quite sure what the time interval is, we're going to work that out. But we can um, put the parameter in terms of t. So if you knew how big that interval was, how many minutes it was, you would do 4.5, divide it by 10 to calculate how many calls he would get in one minute, and then you times it up by t for however many minutes you're making this interval. So we can actually write that down in terms of t. So 4.5 divided by 10 would be 0 0.45 and then we would times it by t. So our parameter is 0 0.45 t. Now we um, are told that the probability that there are no calls will be 0 0.75. So the probability that z equals 0 can be written as e to the minus 0 0.45 t and we know that it's equal to 0 0.75. So now we can use laws of logs to work that out and we get t equals 0.639 minutes. So, what do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. <laughs>